Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I've been playing uh, Mr. Pandaria now for the past five days. I've seen what's up with everything for the most part and I got thoughts on it. So let's talk about it. Okay, first things first. This isn't really intended to be a rant video. It's more of a feedback video for devs and for everybody else interested. I will be talking mainly about the negatives, but there are still positives here and I will jump in on those as well a little bit. But I want to focus on the negatives because as far as I'm concerned at least, Remix right now isn't what it should be. The way I, I'm looking at it is mainly from the perspective of how it was presented to us. My experiences from like uh, the PTR and the experiences from playing through uh, the entire like Mr. Pandaria thing. So I've been playing quite a bit. I'm level 70 as you can see on my shaman. I've explored and done all the quests in the Jade Forest, Valley of the Four Winds. I've done everything almost. Um, I mean, I've done everything in Cross Rang while except the mission yet for for the um, you know Landfall campaign. So that one I'm still ongoing. I finished everything in the Dread Wastes, and I'm halfway done with uh, Kunlai Summit. I mainly leveled through questing and. On the first point, this whole thing was sold to us as a time running uh, experience, right? So it's a little bit different from time walking, supposedly. And in some ways it is, in some way it, it isn't. And the main one that I want to focus on first is the leveling. Uh, at least on your first character, so without any, like, any special things at least. The leveling is, I would say, about as fast, if maybe not a little bit slower or just about the same as leveling a new tune on retail without heirlooms and things like that. So it's it's really not that fast, actually. Um, if you're an average player, this is not that different from like leveling on retail. I did. It took me about the same amount of time to level my Paladin on the US server when I started earlier this year. So it's, I'm, I wouldn't really put this as being very fast. So as far as leveling is concerned, this, at least on the first character, don't expect this to go too fast. It's, it's about the same speed. Um, now, the one thing that is really, really fast, at least on my character, was the reputations. I don't know if it, if it applies anything from like uh, my, ret like, you know, original retail characters and stuff because I did have everything this uh, on my EU account from uh, back in the day. So like things like Reputation, if you go to Pandaria, you can see I have uh, most of these done in 2012, right? Back then, obviously these are appear as 24 because I got them now again. But basically I had gotten these back in you know, 2013. So I think there was a bonus XP for this uh, when you did it on subsequent characters or something like that. I'm not really sure if that's what uh, bumped up the experience gain. But for me, I got most of these uh, reputations in like just, uh, you know, a few days. So if, uh, Hosen, you get guaranteed. Lotus, I did like three days worth of dailies. Same with the Order of the Cloud Serpent. And the Klaxi, you just basically get more or less for free by just doing the quests in the Dreadways. You don't even have to worry about dailies. <clears throat> so the reputations are going pretty fast. So that's good. Um, now, the second thing I have an issue with is the power fantasy. So the idea behind the, this whole mode is that you are supposed to feel really strong and powerful. And let me tell you, that doesn't really happen all that much. Um, obviously, the low level brackets, as with retail, because of the bonked scaling, you know, up to like level 30, you will feel relatively strong. Uh, but then between 30 and 70, you keep feeling weaker and weaker and weaker. There are a few breakpoints and levels where you'll kind of start getting, you know, feeling stronger and a little bit. But then you hit a new break breakpoint and you go back to feeling weak. Um, I, my my favorite part was looking at my mastery skill uh, stat uh, while leveling, and it would just jump up and down, up and down. I'd be like 98 mastery, and then I go back to 20 to 30 mastery with the same general gear for my level. It's just that I didn't hit the right break point for the leveling or like I hit the new break point and all my stats got diminished. So it was, 
I kept, I, it's like I felt weak, I felt weak, I felt weak. Okay, now it's getting better. Okay, now I'm finally a little bit strong. And then I level up and I'm back to feeling weak again. And part of this is because uh, even the um, gems scale off of the gear. So ultimately, you as a character are actually weaker than on retail. If you take out all of these gems uh, that, that give you like uh, special effects, not the stats, just the special effects, uh, you will feel weaker than on retail. These uh, bonus effects and stuff, they do add quite a bit of power, but it, it just makes you feel kind of like how you're supposed to feel for that level range rather than feeling more powerful. Um, so they kind of compensate for the lack of stats and the lack of power in other regards or so like missing trinkets, you know, all that kind of stuff. It doesn't really add power. It just it's power on your character in a different form. Your character is weaker, but you have all of these other effects to compensate a little bit. Uh, which brings me to my second issue, which is the way gearing upgrade works. So the gear upgrades are tied to your level at first. So as you keep leveling, your gear will like, I can't check the lower level, but basically um, it's, you're, you're limited as to how high you can upgrade your gear based on your level up to 70, which would put you around this 346 point. And from this point on, you have to start upgrading your gear. And now you're seeing these small costs. Uh, this is actually deceptive. This is because I've upgraded uh, a chess piece <clears throat> and you get like a 90% uh, reduction in cost or like 95% reduction in cost. So it, it seems like there's less uh, of a cost, but if I wanted to upgrade a new piece, it's 4,500, which brings me to my second issue, which is the amount of bronze you gain by leveling and doing L and things like that, you know, and the um, cost required to upgrade your gear is insane. Like it's insanely imbalanced. You barely get any bronze in the grand scheme of things compared to the cost of upgrading gear. And this is important because at 70, you will feel very weak. Uh, there was even an issue during the first few days where the, the scaling was even more bonkers than it is now, especially in dungeons, where you would literally get one shot and you would actually be killing people like in raids because of your high level. You were actually better off doing dungeons and raids at a lower level, like in the 30s and 40s and stuff like that, instead of, of, of you know, a 70. That's how messed up things were. Now, they've hotfixed a few things. I haven't managed to do all of the dungeons and all of that to see if there are still problems or not. But, like, just as a general feeling, I don't know if that's enough yet. It made them suck less, but it didn't, it didn't make it feel good to be level 70. Um... And the cost itself, like I, like you saw, like for a weapon, for instance, right? It's it's like 4.5k for one upgrade, uh, and this is already upgraded twice, mind you. If I want to max this out, it, it's going to cost me another 58,500 coins. Add to that the other 9,000 I spent just to get this up here, and you're looking at like almost 70k for one weapon. And I have two, by the way. The discount doesn't apply to the second weapon because I'm dual wielding. So that's that right there, just between the two weapons, we're looking at like 150K, uh, you know, uh, bronze coins just for the weapons. All in all, if you want to upgrade all of your gear to max, it, it's going to cost you around 500,000 bronze. And while you're leveling and stuff like that, like by the time you hit 70, you'll like an average playthrough will get you around like 60, 70 coins, something like that. It's basically going to be enough to upgrade your gear, like in my case, from the 346 that was before to 360 everything and the weapons to 374. So one upgrade on each piece and one extra on the weapons. The other problem is that in order to upgrade to a higher tier, you need to hit, you need to have all of your up, uh, gear upgraded to that previous point. So if I want to upgrade my weapon to this next tier, right, to 24, I can't do that until I've upgraded all of my pieces. So it even forces you to spend bronze on slots that you might not even need or gain benefit from. Like for instance, the boots. Because the boots only give you a main stat and it only has one socket for like a movement ability, this doesn't impact your performance at all. But you will be forced 
to spend basically 50k bronze on a piece that's useless for the most part you're not gonna get that much. You're, you're getting 900 haste in total from here to the end of it 900 haste for 50,000 uh, bronze is insane so these costs are batshit insane same with the bracers right but at least the bracer has you know slots for tinkers so the effects on these things grow so it's it at least this one doesn't feel as bad but it still doesn't feel good in the grand scheme of things um to be spending this much bronze when you need like somewhere in the ballpark of 1.5 million uh bronze to get like all of the the things right all of these all the uh, you know uh, accessories toys all the other things all of this kind of stuff right like there's a lot of things to buy you're gonna need about 1.5 million just for that if you don't have anything obviously if you have a few things it's gonna be slightly lower than that on top of upgrading all of your gear which is gonna cost you another half a mil so you're you need to pretty much hit the bronze cap of 2 million to be able to acquire everything and the worst part of it is that you have to upgrade your gear in order to be able to do the more lucrative things um, that give more bronze but the problem is you're spending so much bronze and the income of bronze in the lower tier is so low it actually feels bad to progress right now so you're not even getting the rewards like right now the best way to get stuff realistically is to just create a new character after you finished your first one because now you have a cloak that you know transfers some of the stats to your secondary character not all of them and uh start over again you have an easier time doing dungeons and stuff like that you you can actually breeze through some of the easier content you're gonna gain more bronze at a faster rate on a lower level character you do that and once you've hit you know point where is things start to get slow the best thing to do is to just create a new character and do it all over again you know once you've hit your level 40s or so and that is mind-bogglingly stupid um, it really feels bad when the optimal way to like kind of get your bronze and rewards is to not play the game at max level where it's supposedly the goal to reach and like progress and get more powerful it's it's insane so if you want to get rewards just level a character get it to 40 50 spend your bronzes on anything and then move on now, this is another thing that I wanted to note. I don't know if this is a, um, like a rollback or it's a bug when you do specific things. I'm not exactly sure how, but I lost a lot of my bronze. So what happened was on Sunday, I, I had finished the Dread Wastes. So I had I'd done uh, Jade Forest, Valley of the Four Winds, Crasserang, did Dread Wastes, logged out. When I logged out, and I checked my bronze, I had around 70 something or 80 something K bronze. I didn't spend bronze on anything. I didn't spend bronze on gems, on uh, any kind of any kind. I didn't buy consumables. I didn't upgrade gear. I had 80 K. On Monday, when I logged in, I didn't pay attention to, to my bronze right as I logged in. I went to Kunlai Summit, started doing some of the quests there, uh, hit level 70, went to upgrade my gear. Um, and when I checked my bronze, I had 50k bronze. So I have no idea what happened, what exactly I did or triggered or whatever it is. I just lost like 40k bronze out of nowhere. Don't ask me how. And today and when I logged in, I don't know if it has something to do with the item upgrade screen or what with like this stuff. Um, I had about uh, 7k bronze coins when I logged in. I didn't upgrade any pieces since I logged in. I just logged in for this video. Um, everything's at the level at, at, at that it was before I started this video, but I lost bronze. So I, I have no idea what's happening. I don't know if it's something about my character or if it's something about the item upgrade interface. No clue, but I just lost bronze. So... 
all the more reason why I'm not a big fan of upgrading gear. On top of that, there's still bugs. Um, I don't have any item to show right now, but as a shaman, I cannot uh, do a wield um, with daggers. So if I have an axe and a dagger, I can't actually use storm strike and lava burst. I think um, I couldn't. I couldn't use either ability with daggers. So if I had, uh, like, I can use any combination of axe, mace, and uh, fist weapons. But as soon as I equip a dagger, I can no longer use my melee-based abilities like Storm Strike. So I reported that on the first day. Um, again, looking at my spellbook, right? Uh, you look at weapon skills, right? I have daggers. I'm supposed to be able to use daggers. I can equip daggers. But when I equip daggers, I can't use my abilities. So whatever. But instead, they have managed to fix almost anything that made things a little bit more bearable or less annoying to deal with. So they hotfix the frogs on the Timeless Isles. And I, I say hotfix, but it's really not a hotfix. It's a change because that's how it works even to this day on retail. Um, so the frogs in Timeless Isles no longer drop a, a lesser charms of good fortune. And unfortunately, I didn't go there because I wanted to play the game properly before endgame. Uh, so I missed out on it, but you can use the lesser charms to turn in the dailies uh, For like the various factions. It's a repeatable so you can do it as many times as you want as long as you have lesser charms uh, And for each turn in you get, you know, your experience your gold uh, And your typical like quest chest that can give you gems threads, etc. So people that have uh, quote-unquote abused or really just took advantage of this got really 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 powerful while everybody else is fucked. And there's obviously nothing to do about that, which further, you know, annoys me because now I'm more behind than everybody else and the cost to get to even a remotely decent state as everybody else is insanely high and we're being punished for playing the game, quote unquote, the intended way. So once more, Blizzard is rewarding degenerate gameplay for the first few players and then fucks everybody else over. So I'm really not a fan of this kind of like shotgun approach to hot fixing issues um, and just, you know, screwing everybody else over. They hot fix the Dalaran hyper spawn. So if you do the landfall campaign, there's a mission where you get sent to Dalaran. Um, there's a hyper spawn there. They hot fix that as well. They hot fixed the Pandaria toy map. Um, it's this thing, scouting map. So with this toy, if you use it, you uh, you would be able to uncover all of the maps. And this would basically trigger all of the achievements for exploration, which amounts to basically 1,600. It's more like 2K bronze now after the change. So that tiny little exploit for a measly 2,000 bronze got fixed. So the convenience and the quality of life of having the entire map explored uh, got butchered. You can't, uh, you have to just fly around for an hour to look for every nook and cranny. Um, why? Because of 2k bronze, which as I've already shown you is not even enough to upgrade, uh, an item once. So it's like, okay, thank you. I don't even know where to go from this point on, honestly. Um, in its current form, I, I genuinely cannot recommend playing Pandaria right now. Unless you're somebody that likes uh, leveling through questing and just like, you know, having this, um, you know, having a good side through the old content if you haven't done it. Um, I, I genuinely cannot recommend Pandaria right now until they fix some of these issues with the scaling, um, the cost for up, uh, gear upgrades. Um, it's you're better off not playing it. I mean, Cataclysm just came out yesterday, um, slash today, depending on your time zone. Um, just play that instead, honestly. Um, you can still take your time and to get some of these achievements, at least try to, uh, you know, cheese your way to some of these rewards, like I said, by doing, you know, shenanigans with lower level characters. So you like create a new character, you go to, you know, whatever zone you haven't done yet, right? Uh, you do some dungeons to get some of these. Um, and then you start over again. And you, whatever bronze you get by leveling K 
casually, you spend that on some of the rewards, like the 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 more rarer stuff that are unique to Pandaria, like these things, right? And the recolors uh, that are unique to Pandaria, right? Like, but even then, I'm struggling to recommend this because it's the income of of bronze right now is just not good it doesn't feel good your character progression it doesn't feel good um the effects from the extra abilities are fun don't get me wrong it is fun to have all of these things proc and see enemies explode but they're really right now at least during the early phases they're really just a band-aid to um like cover for all the power that you're actually lacking so it's mm, i'm i'm struggling to actually enjoy pandaria right now based on the current progression of bronze and you know like upgrades and things like that um, and i'm kind of scared to go into some of the higher raids and dungeons because my first experience was uh getting one shot by a, a mechanic that other people would take like 5% of their health. So supposedly they fixed that, maybe, but at the same time, my gear is just barely at max level. Um, so maybe I won't get one shot, I'll get two shot now. Maybe that's a, a considerable change, I don't know. But uh, yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just gonna sit this one out for another week or something until they make some proper changes to this. Blizzard, if you're seeing this, please reconsider your approach to this. Uh, on on the PTR, this event was a lot more fun, uh, and you neutered most of that fun. You you took one step forward and two steps back. You nerfed the the frogs on the Timeless Isle. You removed the map. You've uh, changed how the cloak works, um, so we don't longer you know get to keep all of the stats from our main. You've also uh, disable trading so we can't even send gems to a new character uh, it's it's this is this isn't how time running is supposed to uh to go like there's not no time running here it's time stumbling you're stumbling along you're at a slightly faster pace than walking but it's not time running um and i, I really want to see like the cost for upgrades on gear they like should be, as far as I'm concerned, at the same price as they are after you've upgraded. So like slash it by like 90% or 95%. Like let us actually have fun blowing things up. I don't want to play for the next two weeks farming bronze just so I can upgrade my gear so that maybe in the second month I can probably start doing some of the harder content because I won't, I will finally be able to somewhat outscale uh, the current power curve that has also been increased. Um, but yeah, like I would not recommend this to anybody. I did it, like as you can see, I am level 70. I've done most of these things. You saw my achievements, like I'm not bullshitting you. It's not like I've been, you know, uh, I've done five levels or something. I've gone through a bunch of uh, levels. I finished my infinite power achievement. I I'm just not having fun right now. I had fun up until like level 45-ish, 40-ish. And after that, it was just a negative experience. Not negative in the sense of like, this all sucks, but in the sense that this doesn't really feel that different from retail. A aside from maybe hating to always having to do this Every single time I get a new piece of gear because of a new stat break that I needed to reach in order to get gain the benefits of, of the effect. Also, Leech, as far as I can tell, is kind of sort of not working as intended, or at least I maybe my Leech is too low for me to notice it because of the scaling. But like I really don't feel like I'm healing ever outside of like when the mob actually dies. Like that's the only time I see my healing go up. And that's in part because of Brit the way Brittle works and Slayer works. Uh, or is it Slayer? What was this? Where was Slayer? Slight, right? Because it deals damage based on your H total HP. So that's the only time I actually see 
Leech do anything because of the scaling. Like, I may as well not have Leech uh, for the most part. Uh, scaling on some abilities is also atrocious. Healing Surge give, gives me 40k HP. It's like not even 10%. Uh, that's great. Awesome scaling there. Uh, in part because we have less overall stats. So that's cool. Abilities even don't keep up with your own like performance. I have good things to say in theory, but as always, it comes down to the execution. And once again, the execution isn't there. It was there, funnily enough, on the PTR. And as always, Blizzard decided, let's find problems where there aren't any. Let's figure out why something is a problem because we don't like it and pulled it back. And now it's no longer fun. Um, it will probably be fun in a month from now if I continue grinding my ass off for a few 200 bronze here and there until I can get my gear to, I don't know, 400 out of 556, right? Maybe once I get around this point or this point, I'll maybe start feeling a little bit better. But by that point, I need to spend at least, a, a, at least an extra 100k bronze. And when you're asking me to spend 100k bronze to barely feel uh, like normal in power, instead of buying almost everything here, like look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's one whole fucking page of rewards. When you're telling me I have to spend 100k instead of getting these just to feel slightly less weak, it's not a good proposition. Um, so the only reason why you would want to stick to a character is to get some of the things like this, like the Hellscream heirlooms and the Tusks of Manroth, right? Because you want to get uh, powerful enough to start doing Siege of Orgrimmar, preferably on Heroic, if not even Mythic, right? Um, but in order to get here, you're going to be spending the entirety of, what is it, May and probably June just farming bronze to upgrade your gear. And that feels terrible. I'm on, I'm sorry. Like it genuinely feels terrible at the current rate of uh, acquisition for bronze and at the current costs for gear upgrades. So yeah, that's my rant. Um, once some of these, like as long as they fix the, well, fix, fix is the wrong word in this case, change the prices for upgrades and increase considerably, I would say, the acquisition of bronze, this is not time running right now. It's it's uh, slightly faster time walking, just barely slightly, with a little bit of extra gimmicks because you get all of these abilities instead of extra stats. So um, yeah, hope you see this blizzard. Please make some changes. I want to say good things about Pandaria Remix, but right now this this ain't it. This ain't it. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's my rant for the day. I've beaten the dead horse enough. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for, um, listening to me. If you agree, sound it off in the comments. If you disagree, sound it off in the comments. I'm curious to see what others think. Uh, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next time in the next one. Until then I'm going to be playing uh, cataclysm actually right after this video goes up. I'll probably be uh, playing Cataclysm and leveling up there, my Paladin. Anyway, thanks, guys. Cheers.